Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have a super easy little Easter craft to share with you that you can make in under 10 minutes. These little Easter bunnies are so easy to make. I'm going to show you how to make them. You can put them on tiered trays. You can put them in Easter baskets. They'd be cute on a place setting. You could even use these on a wreath. But make plenty because everybody will want one. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Okay, we're going to start with a piece of fleece. It measures 12 inches by 12 inches, and we are going to turn it at a diagonal, and we're going to start rolling it up. Now, you're going to roll it up as tight as you can, so take some time on this part to get it really rolled up well. And do the sides as much as the middle, because you want your sides to be even with the middle. And this is a 12 by 12. You can put make this in smaller, but the smallest was a 9.5 by 9.5 that actually held its shape. Then just put your scissors right there and fold the other end up all the way to the center till you get them even. And you can make a lot of these pretty quick. This is a quick and easy project. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and pull the ear on one side, and we're gonna put a rubber band about a half an inch down below where it's curved. And I'm just using clear rubber bands. I'll give you the link for these in the description below, but we're just trying to keep create the ear shape right now. And then go ahead and do the same thing on that side. Go ahead and pull it and come down about a half an inch from where it V's, V's open. And then we're going to take it and we are just going to fold it in half backwards until they meet in the center. And then we're going to fold it over to get the head part. Now go ahead and separate your ears a little bit. And then we're going to twist the other ear around so it's facing forward just like the other one. So the bulk of the body is going to be in the in the back. So probably about one third in the front and two thirds in the back. And then go ahead and twist your ear around to the front so that they're even. And then you're just going to have to kind of shape it up a little bit. Once you get it turned around, tuck in your sides, pull the um, front together, pull the back together. Just kind of spend a little bit of time getting it shaped. Just kind of make sure that the rubber band is even around where the ears are at the top because we're going to tie this off with a ribbon here in a minute. And you could make this with a wash rag if you wanted to. Okay, next to hold all this together, we're going to take a string and we're going to go over the top part right up by the ears and we're going to tie this around into the bottom. And just kind of pull it tight. Okay, next we're just going to take a ribbon and we are going to tie it around into the front. We're just, so we're going to go underneath the body and then up by the ears and we're just going to tie this in a bow. And you want to make sure that you get all the way up to the top of the ear, I mean to the bottom part of the ear. And then just make sure that your loop you know, twist it around there so your polka dots or whatever pattern um, ribbon you're using is facing forward. And then go ahead and trim off the edges. Next, we're just going to go ahead and squeeze the back part together and glue it together. And then we're just going to add a pom-pom to the back for his tail. Okay, next we're going to add some eyes and a little nose, and I got this little eye and nose kit from Amazon. I'll give you the link for it. I'm using the third size up on the eyes, and I'm using the smallest on the nose. And this gives you a lot of eyes and nose in this kit. This is really a good value. And that's what size the nose is. It's probably about a half an inch, and then the eyes are probably about three-eighths of an inch. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put it right into the cuff on the side where your fabric rolled back. You're just going to stick it right in the top part there on both sides for the eyes. And you're just going to make sure that they're even and then we're going to go ahead and glue them in. And I got mine kind of pushed towards the back. And then go ahead and glue the other eye in as well. Just make sure that they are even because you will notice if they're not. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to add some whiskers. And I'm just taking some um, 
This actually is like a, a stretchy bracelet making material. You can use fishing line or whatever. And I'm just coming through the front and I'm going to just drag it through and just going to leave probably about maybe two inches on each side and I'm going to trim it off. And I'm going to put three of these on here. And then you can put a little spot of glue on them if you want to, to hold them in place. Once I put the nose on there, I think it stayed in there pretty good. But if you have little kids that pull the whiskers out, you might want to probably glue them. Just kind of make sure that they are even. And then we're just going to put the nose right down into the center. And we're using, we're putting the triangular part facing down. So the point of the triangle will go down. Just kind of fit it in there and then go ahead and glue it in. Okay, and you can make these in under 10 minutes. I mean, really, after you, even with cutting the material out, these go pretty fast. But you probably want to make them in a lot of different colors because they really are cute. And everybody will want one. If you like these kind of videos, give me a like, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified when I have a new video upload. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really appreciate it.